Yeah, guys, didn't think I'd be back this quick with a Cap on Mac episode. And I know that I said twice was the next one. Really sorry for that. Like, I really want to make sure I get that one right. But I got the opportunity to check out a special keyboard from a friend, so welcome to episode 5 of the k Mech series with a custom mechanical keyboard dedicated to Rosé of Blackpink. First, let's announce the winners from episode 4 on Eyes One, and they are Yo Wei Jean and Jan Gerald Drive. Congratulations, guys. As always, we'll be giving away two physical albums, which comes with a phone book, cards, and all that good stuff details at the end of the video. Rosé is a member of the ever popular Blackpink, probs the biggest group in the world at the moment and she yeah she happens to be the bias for both me and Forehead in a group. She's of course the main vocalist which I, I usually have a soft spot for, plays a few instruments which I respect but I think one of the big things and Aussies will know, when you hear that Australian accent on the world stage it hits a spot, especially when they're based in a non-English speaking country. Um, although we can hear it change slightly, it, it's still there, so yeah, so good. And Forehead mentioned the, the journey from New Zealand to growing up in Australia, moving to Korea by herself when she was like 16. Um, all the hard work and sacrifice to now being, now being where she is is amazing. Gotta love it. Here's the Sandblaster brass weight, and this thing is hefty, just over 1.2 kilograms and basically gives the keyboard most of its weight. On the inside we have her Korean name, Park Cheong in Hangul, and then on the outside we have her beautiful signature. I swear, they always have such aesthetic signatures. Here's the top aluminium piece, and this does only come in wind keyless, so we have these blockers although the engravings are optional. And this is a top mount board, so the plate screws to this piece, and there's seven mounting points with just the three on the bottom, staying clear of the space bar to give it some relief, but otherwise it's a classic safe design that should feel and sound pretty good. The default plate will be this 1.5mm black aluminium one. This one is a bit mangled because it's a prototype plate, so ignore the widened holes. Fortunately, this was already built by a forehead himself with a Milmax Tiny PCB, Alpaca V2 linear switches, and a palm plate. The actual final PCB and daughter board will be custom by gels and will support split left and right shifts, split backspace, and step caps, so yeah, everything you need. And here it is, the Rosé TKL from Forehead. Lovely, lovely board. I love stuff like this. Having a theme to a keyboard really gives a character in a different way, because in regards to design, it's very simple, but exudes that, that classy vibe. And that's just how I personally feel with TKLs in general too. Uh, but this one in particular is an F13 wind killers board. And and what that does help with is it gives them more real estate to express the theme. So we have three engravings on top. The left blocker has the first half of Rosé in Hangul, and the right blocker finishes that. Very neat. And Hangul characters are just perfect for this sort of thing. Um, and then above the arrow keys, we have the R logo from her first solo single album titled R. And that leads us to favourite song. Forehead said that he enjoyed On The Ground lyrically, but found Gone nicer to listen to, and I feel exactly the same way. Gone is ironically more grounded than On The Ground in regards to sound with just a guitar playing along with her voice. It, it's simple, uh, it's it's chill, catchy, and just sounds beautiful. Especially that chorus, they, they nailed it, and the music video hits the spot as well. But it is a breakup kind of song, and basic in that regard, whereas On The Ground is a bit more a bit more meaningful and as suggested is about staying grounded and remembering what's important. Hey Rory, stay humble mate. Um, but don't get me wrong, it's still a good listen but go on, it's definitely more my vibe. Also both songs are in English so yeah. 
The keycaps I have on here are GMK Bingsu. Big thanks to my mate Jono for lending it. I think it works decently well, but good old white and black, it's different. I think it brings out the cooler magenta side of the pink rather than the warm orangey tinge Bingsu brings out of it. And of course it fits the black pink theme perfectly. Um, the baby pink is a beautiful color as well, but it's such a difficult color to show through photos and videos. Like, like all colors, light affects how it looks, but it's extra difficult with this pink. Alrighty, let's have a quick listen. Awesome! As expected with the aluminium plate, it provides that solid top mount experience that most of us love. Um, a nice balance, firm key presses, not too clacky or flocky, although it definitely goes towards clacky. There's a bit of flex towards the middle, which is a given, softening that bottom out slightly in both sound and feel, but overall, being a simple top mount with minimal space underneath the PSB, it's not hard, just firm and solid, that sweet middle ground where I feel it complements the, the switch as well. The palm plate provides a bit more flex, providing a soft on bottom mount and is lower pitched in sound. I did however have some issues with the palm and a lot of that can be put down to, to it being a prototype plate. Like loose switch holes don't pair well with the Milmax PCB, even the alpaca legs weren't tight to the Heine PCB so there, there wasn't much holding the plate and PCB together. Additionally, the flexible nature of the palm plate along with what I just mentioned, it wasn't too difficult to bottom out the PCB onto that shallow bottom inside surface. Especially the spacebar, as remembering before there's no mounting point on the plate along that spacebar area, so all that will definitely need some adjusting, but both can fix sound great and it's a tried and tested design that delivers and I love it, just, just classic you know. Real pure feeling. And that's the Rose TKL Custom Mechanical Keyboard. Truly a lovely board, and it's something I love to see because it's a passion project, like learning a new program, dealing with manufacturing, logistics, and going through all of this to create what he wants to create, and then showing it for others to enjoy. Um, I love it. So if you're interested, I'll link his Discord server in the description, but Warning, it won't be cheap and there won't be many. And that's episode 5 of the K-pop series. 
I know this kind of thing is for everyone, but I hope you can still enjoy the keyboards because I'm, I'm pretty proud of this series. Again, Soz on the Twice board. I know, but that one is really important to me, so I really, really want to do that justice. And a huge thanks to Forehead for letting me check out this board. Bless Rosé, love you. Uh, and I hope that she doesn't come across any avocados. Mm -hmm.